NASA warns that a huge exoplanet in space has started sending Earth signals. What is it? Let's find out in this video. Recently, the Headquarters and Alert System of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, displayed a strange signal that no man has ever seen. The signal was transmitted by a massive object to Earth, and this strange signal is currently perplexing scientists and astronomers because they have no idea where it's from or what it is. Could this be a message from aliens trying to communicate with us? We all know that the final frontier is so vast that scientists and astronomers have not been able to explore up to 10% of its entirety. However, that little observation is enough to send shivers down the spine. The possibility that life forms that aren't related to humanity will be found in space is one of the most discussed topics, and it's in fact one of the driving factors that fuel the exploration of space. Join us as we explore how NASA allowed systems to warn that huge objects started sending out signals. Interference coming from the South The fact that this detected signal also had a techno signature helped to solidify the benefit that it was a transmission from some type of advanced extraterrestrial intelligence. Aside from its techno signature, the signal from Proxima Centauri is considered to be one that needs to be investigated thoroughly. A scientist named Andrew Simeon from the University of California, Berkeley, and his team that studied the detected signal, the transmission has some unique properties that can cause it to pass many of the team's checks. But it's still a mystery. You know the reason that this signal raised more curiosity is that it has a very narrow radium spectrum band at 982 megahertz, to be precise, which is an area that is typically devoid of transmissions from human-made satellites and spacecraft we are not aware of. Perhaps he proceeded as some of the yet undiscovered exotic realm of plasma physics core reason-focused radio waves. But at this point in time, the only source that we are aware of is technological. In combination with a project with a budget of $100 million called Breakthrough Listening, the NASA Alert System identified this communication. It's a project that is being headed by Simeon, and Yuri Milner, who is a billionaire, is providing financial backing for it. Milner is part of the umbrella group of digital billionaires who have Breakthrough Ventures. The purpose of this multi-year endeavor, which kicked off in 2015 with a star-studded announcement graced by Stephen Hawking and other luminaries in the field of space science, is to observe the radio telescopes worldwide to search the skies for proof of technological civilizations. Their pursuit, of course, is more commonly known as the search for actual terrestrial intelligence, which is also known as SETI. The day no such evidence convincingly being scattered, even though both in a half a century of modest but steady SETI activity has been ongoing. The discovery of the signal was not something that scientists expected. But what they weren't aware of was that this development started as far back as April 29, 2019. Jason Wright, a SETI-centric astronomer at Penn State University, Pennsylvania, made a comment on the detection of this signal saying if you see such a signal is not coming from the surface of the heart, you know you have detected extraterrestrial technology. Scientists and astronomers partnered with Breakthrough Listening to begin collecting data. This data collection process was what later revealed the intriguing signal. A team had been working with the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia to observe Proxima Centauri for any signs of flares coming from the report star in order to understand how such flares might disrupt Proxima Centauri's planet. The system hosts at least two planets, the first of which was dubbed Proxima b and was first discovered in 2016 is almost complete. Proxima b can be found in the star's habitable zone, which is a hazily defined sector in which liquid water could exist upon a rocky planet surface. This is the case so long as Proxima Centauri's stellar flares do not become more powerful than they already are. Another planet with roughly Proxima Centauri's seven Earth masses is spending 2019 in an ice-cold 5.2-year orbit, as the team of scientists and astronomers use the Parkes Radio Telescope to study the star as part of their research into stellar flares. In Proxima Centauri, observations from that moment, everything's made up with a good reason this discovery made by Shade still battling it. 
Yet intriguing, the scientists on the team could not hide their joy about this unusual breakthrough in their research. Sophia Shakey, scientist from Penn State University who was in charge of this subsequent analysis of the signal of the breakthrough, listened said it's the most exciting signal of what we've found in the breakthrough project, because we haven't had a single jump through this many of our filters before. Sophia, who has also published papers about that lock, eventually referred to the signal table full name BLC1, which stood for breakthrough. It isn't a strong one to weaken what researchers first believed because the researchers' interest was first to cope with the symbol of automated tests to rule out obvious terrestrial interference. Hundreds of galaxies, however, frequently passed this phase and separated further investigation. They're almost all speculated and will be dismissed as errors. It might be categorized as an excess of static entirely within your algorithm, excluding them from consideration as any signals from aliens. Shake said that, except for this one, it is all based on this fact, and the data she had already collected shocked her colleagues. They re-looked to the telescope approximately several times in scans totaling 30 minutes over a week, breakthrough listen, and message alert systems, incorporating method termed noting. This is the process by which the telescope will stay in the same spot for a long time while looking at other parts of the sky. This is done to make sure that any signal coming from the target is coming from the target and not from someone microwaving their lunch in the observatory cafeteria. So let's get down to business. What is this signal doing here? Shea confirmed it in five of the 13 observations she made over the course of about three hours. She said, we see this thing come back, which was a sign that the signal came from a Proxima Centauri or some other deep space source in that part of the sky before it came down. For what I think, this case is closed already. But it has just left room for more theories and more postulations about it. Even though a natural explanation, like aliens, is even less likely than a natural one, the signal that was received from an alien world could have come from a natural source in the universe. Even though this seems like an unlikely possibility, it can't be ruled out completely just yet. However, as a consequence, almost every member of the Breakthrough team is adamantly insisting that the chances of this being anything other than simple cosmic interference are extremely remote. A possibility is that it's something human because the executive director of the Breakthrough Initiatives has ordered it. Thanks for watching this video. That was all from our side. If you liked this video, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more interesting information. With that being said, that was all from our side and we'll see you next time.